ABC Montana Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitter Root Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yeah, it's time for your morning sprint. Brooke has your weather in our top local headlines. Traffic is flowing again in northwest Montana after a cement mixer, we're told, lost its load just north of Polson. Troopers say the mess delayed traffic on Highway 93 for seven hours. It was at mile marker 67 to 69. If you possibly have any damage to your vehicle, you're to call 406-841-7022. Today, Madison County officials are to talk about detours for Highway 41 South. It is now closed from Twin Bridges to Dillon. State inspectors say the supports on the bridge over the Beaverhead River are deteriorating. This is a major thoroughfare and truck route from Dillon to Bozeman. Those west of the bridge will have to take an extra 20-minute detour. It's not clear how long the bridge will stay closed, but we're told it likely will be months. The Ravalli County Sheriff is identifying the suspect in that deadly officer-involved shooting at the Riverside Conoco in Hamilton April 1st as Zachary Andrew Athern. The sheriff says that the 30-year-old threatened officers with a knife after an attempted robbery. Athern was pronounced dead at the hospital. In northern Idaho, investigators say an 18-year-old man planned to attack up to 21 churches in the Coeur d'Alene area if he could get his hands on his dad's guns. Prosecutors are charging the teen with attempting to provide material support to the Islamic State group known as ISIS. FBI informants posed as Islamic State group supporters and arrested Alexander Scott Mercurio the day before they think he planned out to attack those churches. Chad Daybell's trial for the death of his former wife and Lori Daybell's two children starts today. Investigators found the children's bodies buried on Daybell's property near Rexburg, Idaho. Daybell pleaded not guilty and could be sentenced to death. Lori Vallow Daybell was sentenced to life in prison. She married Chad Daybell after the children's deaths. A Bozeman will ban parking in bike lanes starting next month. Staff members are seeing more illegal parking in bike lanes and more demand for curbside spaces. Citations start at $50 but could range up to $300 for additional parking violations. Well, the time is 6.58 this morning. We are starting out with some lingering snow showers around southwest Montana. Temperature is kind of chilly, waking up in the 20s and low 30s. 25 right now in Kalispell. Kalispell, you had some localized dense fog earlier this morning. Visibility has improved for you. As we move throughout the day, we're expecting decreasing cloud cover and some sunshine on tap. That's because high pressure is going to be in control. It'll be building for us today. I'm really sticking around through the end of the week, but we're going to transition to a bit of a southwest flow by Friday. That's going to send us some moisture, enough that we are going to be tracking the threat of a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms Friday all the way through your weekend. Here's a look at your 10-day forecast. Take in the warmth. We're at 64 Friday, 67 Saturday, 70 Sunday in the Missoula Valley. Mostly sunny skies for us as we head through the weekend. Next week, big changes. We are tracking some cooler, wetter weather. Highs are going to drop below normal. We're going to be in the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday with a wintry mix of rain and snow. Overnight low temperatures, they're going to fall into the 20s for us next week. For Bozeman, this is where we're going to see some of our warmest high temperatures this weekend. You'll be at 74 degrees Friday, 72 Saturday, 73 Sunday. Mix of sun and clouds for you this weekend, but a couple of isolated showers and storms can't be ruled out. Then next week we turn cooler with daytime highs dropping back into the 40s. All right, thank you, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman. And we'll be checking in with Madison County officials on the detours for that closed bridge between Twin Bridges and Dillon.